All right, so let's talk about electron configuration. Uh, electron configuration is the arrangement of electrons in an atom. Sarah, before we talked about orbital diagrams, and up here we actually have a bunch of orbital diagrams, but instead of having to write all this out to describe where electrons go and how, how they fit into the atom, we're actually going to make it shorthand, and that way we're going to do electron configuration. So let's start with neon. We know neon has 10 electrons in its neutral state. So when I drew the orbital diagram, uh, this is what I got with 10 electrons drawn out. Um, instead of having to draw all of that out, I'm going to do a shorthand version and say, OK. Um, in the 1s orbital, we have two electrons, so I'm going to make a superscript of two. In the 2s orbital, I have two electrons, again, a superscript of two. In the 2p um, orbital, or sublevel, I have six electrons, so I'm going to make a superscript of six. So this is, my, this is basically electron configuration. All right, so let's do something a little bit more. Let's do sodium. Sodium has 11 electrons in its, um, in its neutral state. So, okay, awesome. We're going to say this has 1s, 2, 2s, 2, 2p, 6, 3s, 1. Well, there's something special about neon. Neon, we know, is a noble gas, meaning all the electrons are filled in the outer shell. So we, this is, makes it a special, a special kind of atom or element. So down here, um, this is one more electron than sodium. So instead of having to rewrite this whole thing, notice that this electron configuration is identical to this one. They're the same. So instead of writing this, again, the whole thing, I can just write it, well, sodium has the same electron configuration as neon plus a 3s1 electron. Easy enough. Okay, let's do chlorine, which has a little bit more electrons. Chlorine, if we were to draw this, if we just simplify this into electron configuration, we'd say, okay, chlorine has a 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, again, same as neon. So instead, I'm going to write neon, 3s2, 3p7. So this is the electron configuration for neon. We're going to call these two, this one and this one, the noble gas configuration. Okay, so um, which is the same thing as electron configuration, it's just a little bit shorter and easier to write, easier to manage. But what if we come across an, el an element that has 87 electrons, such as francium? That is a ton of electrons, and I don't want to have to draw all this out. This is just a pain. So an easy way to do this is if you look at the periodic table, here's francium right here. Um, the noble gas before francium is radon. Radon has 86 electrons. Francium only has one more. So we're going to say, okay, let's make it easy on ourselves. Let's say... It has one more electron. Awesome. So I have to just have to notify or notice where, where is the electron coming from and where is that, where am I, how am I going to denote that? So francium we know is in the seventh period. So we're going to say, okay, great. It's actually going to put seven there. And everything in group one ends in an S1. So we're going to say, okay, great, seven S1. If we were to talk about something, let's say, um, let's do uh, sulfur. Sulfur, notice it's in the three peri third period, so it, it would, the, the uh, noble gas configuration would be neon, 3s, and then we go over to the p's, 1, 2, 3, 4, p4. So um, sulfur, if we were to write it, 16 electrons, it would be, what do we say, neon? 3s2, we don't forget, we have to denote that, 3p4. Pretty much easy enough. So that is electron configuration and noble gas configuration.